My name is Dan LeClaire from Coggin, Iowa, and I was the 15th person to win the state championship four times in a row. Uh, I got started when I was like four years old. My dad was an assistant, assistant wrestling coach for a, a local high school and then eventually became the head coach at our high school and I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, my family basically lived and breathed wrestling, you know. Um, a lot of my, a lot of the places I've been were simply because of wrestling, you know. I had really very few um, vacations that didn't have wrestling involved, so, you know, I've, I've been to a lot of places, but probably 90% of them had to do with a wrestling tournament or something. All, everybody would love to go in there and win a state title, you know, but you know, to, to go in there as a freshman and expect to win a state title, it takes a, it takes a different, different mindset on the, on the kids' part. You know, um, a lot of them just don't think, don't think that it's even possible as a freshman. And uh, you know, I, try and, I try and tell them, you know, that they're not any bigger than you. Yeah, they're, they might be older than you as a freshman. They might be a junior or senior, but they're the same size. You know, there's no reason that you can't you can't do it instead of them. So it's just the you know the it's like Big Brother syndrome. They don't think that they should win because they're a freshman. You know, versus I had every expectation going in that I was going to win. You know, I had, there was no reason for me not to. I didn't think. Everybody wants you know the favored guy to fall. There's always those people you know thinking that they'd love to see you go down. There's always those people and you know I, I at that time you know the message boards things on the internet were starting to get popular and I stayed away from them but you know people people read them they they see comments on there and they're gonna come tell you about them you know so and so so and so on the from the other side of the state he's, he's looking pretty good people are saying he can beat you or whatever and it's just like you know, you just got to let it like water off a duck's back. Just let it roll off and, you know, you know, you, you know that you can do it. You've done it three times already. It's, you know, just stay the course and I'll be fine is what I was feeling. <laughs> Some of the best lessons you can learn are learned through this sport. I mean, it's a very low reward sport, so you, you got to just love to do it. And I mean, it. It's so much work for so little reward. It's just self gratification is about all the reward you get. You know, you get a medal or a trophy. You know, there's no, there's no, uh, you know, very few full ride scholarships out there for. And then beyond that is almost zero money made in the sport. So it's not like football or basketball where you can hope to sign a big contract. You know, when you're done for millions of dollars. I mean, it's just you gotta love to do it. And you know that translates to life. If you're not doing something you love, you, you know you're not going to put the work into it. And and you find something you love. You know you you learn through wrestling that it takes work. You know everything you do, if it's worth doing, it's going to take work. And you just got to get it done. You know so you're going to have hard times, you're going to have good times, and you got to get the work done either way. My name is Dan Leclaire. I was the 15th four-time state champion.